Good morning everyone, this is Teacher Seti and uh, today I'll be doing, I'll be coaching about the meiosis and mitosis. Uh, ayun. So before I'm gonna start, siguro after 10 minutes, uh, I will start after 10 minutes na lang para mas marami po yung makapag-watch sa ano na to. I'll be, I'll be rationalizing questions about meiosis and mitosis. This is General Education Science. Okay? So, ayun. Meiosis and mitosis, the two types of cell division, the cell division in the body cells or the somatic cells, and the cell division in the gamete cells or sex cells. Okay. So, ayun. So, good morning everyone. Comment down your um, places. I mean, your location. Kung saan kayo ngayon. Ayun. Good morning. Good morning po sa lahat. Good morning po sa lahat. Let's wait uh, after 10 minutes bago tayo mag-start. Ayun. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat po sa lahat. Keep safe po. Ayun. Let's wait for the others. Okay. So, let's start at 10.12. It's still 10.06. And we still have six minutes to wait for the others. Good morning. Good morning, Fernandez J E, my baby. Okay, anyway. Brooks Point Palawan po. Uh Sherma K Kasilans. Um Mom Shema, good morning from Palawan. Watching here, sir. Thank you po for the videos. God bless. Mom Juan, good morning po. Welcome po, Mom Juan. Ayun. We'll start at 10:12 and it's still 10:07. We still have 5 minutes to wait for the others. Please do share this video. Para mapag, maka ano tayo ng iba pang gustong sumali sa, sa, sa session na to. Good morning po sa lahat. Oh, yung mga nag-watch dyan na 73. 75, uh, taga saan po kayo? Comment yung po below your location. Location, location, location. Ayun. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Sir Rinaldo Pasqua uh, Singeo. Good morning from Region 2, Santiago City, Isabella. Isabella, Isabella. Na excited ako mag-discuss about meiosis and mitosis. Meron tayong mga questions din. Good morning from Valencia, Bukidnon. Mayong buntag, Ma'am Pinkish White. Mayong buntag din ha sa atong mga kaisunan sa bukid non. Labi na gyud doon dito sa mga uh, mulumulupyo diha sa Mindanao o sa Kabisayan. Mayong buntag kaninyong tanan. From Lake Cebu, South Cotabato, sir. Oh, Sir John John Leong. Mayong buntag. Uh, mayad nga aga. Uh, I don't know in Jensen. Is it? I mean, wait. South Cotabato? It's, it's Ilonggo, right? Bagong silang kalokan North. Ma'am Regine Felix Rivera, good morning. Good morning, Sir uh, De La Cruz JC. Good morning po. Good morning, Sir, from General Santo City. Mayong buntag, Ma'am Ellen May Benyas. Abanyas. Good morning, Sir, from Pangasinan. Saan po sa Pangasinan, Ma'am Faye Kirante? Good morning. Carl Angelo Cabasag from Lapu-Lapu City, Cebu. From Montinlupa City, Metro Manila. Good morning. Ma'am De La... Ah, oh, yeah. Good morning, Ma'am JC De La Cruz or Sir JC De La Cruz. Good morning, Sir, from Kidapawan City. Ma'am uh, Virginia Nilio, mang, uh, maglangit. Taga Alamada ko, Ma'am. Pariho Ratag Province. Good morning from Apayao, Sir uh, Rovilin Pokin. Ma'am Rovilin. Or Sir Rovilin, I'm sorry. Uh, Villa de Amor, good morning from Manila. River City Residences, keep safe, teacher. Thank you so much, uh, Ma'am Villa de Amor. Good morning po. Thank you so much. Keep safe din, uh, keep safe din po. 
Joy Larza, good morning everyone watching here from Tagig City, Metro Manila. Good morning, Ma'am Joy La or Lorzano. Ma'am Jalian Galia. Good morning, sir, from Sarangani Province. Maayong buntag, Sarangani. Hello po, good morning. Good morning, Sir Dennis Flores Brade. Nova May Agoncillo Saga, uh, Sagrado. Good morning from Iligan City. Maayong buntag din, Ma'am Nova May. Ayun, so we still have, yeah, two minutes uh, more. We're gonna start at 10, 12. Good morning, Cotabato City. Sir Rainier, uh, Rainier Heights. Good morning. Asalam alaikum. Tama po ba ako? Good morning from Manila, Pasig. Pasig, yes. Ma'am Shane, good morning. Watching from Karamuan, Kamsur. Wow, I love Karamuan. Sir John Ray Pena Fleur, good morning. Dennis Flores Brade from Elegant City, good morning. Shout out po, teacher from Antipolo City, Baroga and Ave Aveno family. Baroga and Aveno family, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Sa Antipolo City. Ma'am Rhea Kabunak, good morning, sir, from Valencia, Bukidon. Keep safe. Uh, thank you so much. Keep safe din po. Ayun. So we still have one minute. To wait for the others. Ayan, so today I'm gonna discuss, I'm gonna discuss about the meiosis and the mitosis. This is general uh, education science. Uh, medyo complicated yung, yung concept na to, ay yung, yung topics na to. Uh, kasi it's more of like cytology and uh, genetics. Meron na rin tayong genetics. Anyway. <coughs> Ayan. So start na tayo. Ayan, so I, I, I'm going to discuss about uh, mitosis and meiosis. Uh, if you're familiar with this, sa mga, sa mga kumuha ng BE ed at saka BS ed, meron, pong, meron po tayong uh, botany and zoology. Botany is the study of uh, plants and uh, zoology is the study of animals. Ayun, so bali one year yun, isang, isang, isang sem si botany, isang sem din sa zoology. zoology. Sa mga second coursers naman, uh, Kung ano, kung hindi kayo inline dun sa science yung courses ninyo, uh, better read about the basics of botany and zoology po. Kasi uh, meron pong mga questions sa general education uh, from these, uh, these topics like mitosis and meiosis, uh, ano pa ba? Uh, sa zoology naman, yung mga systems, body systems like skeletal systems, Lymphatic system, circulatory system, digestive systems, integumentary systems, what more, uh, endocrine system. <coughs> Ayun, so, kailangan nyo po mag, uh, magbabasa about those topics. Uh, botany, kinds of plants, uh, parts of the flowers, kinds of roots, parts of the plants, what more. Uh, kinds of stems, types of stems, uh, Tsaka itong cells, about cells. And genetics, meron, gen meron din tayong uh, genetics. Basic lang sa Mendelian genetics. Ayun. So, I'm gonna discuss about mitosis first. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang cell division. Cell division, uh, meron tayong dalawang klaseng cells kasi na dinideal sa, sa katawan natin. Lahat na makikita sa katawan natin, uh, except sa sex cells, like the sperm and the eggs, uh, cell division nun, uh, yung lahat ng cells ng katawan natin except the reproductive cells or the sex cells or the gamete cells uh, are undergoing the mitotic cell division or the mitosis. Division of the somatic cells or other names for somatic cells is um, uh, what's this? Body cells. Okay? Body cells. Ayun. Good morning po sa lahat. Uh, good morning, good morning. Ayun. So, at sana ba ako? Cell division naman sa sex cells, yung sex cells natin or gamete cells uh, or reproductive cells, yun yung uh, meiosis. Okay? So, meiosis is the cell division of the reproductive cells or other other names for that. They call it gamete cells or uh, this sex cells. Okay? So, dalawa lang po yun. Sperm cells and egg cells. Ayun. Uh, what more? 
Si mitosis and meiosis, uh, mal- medyo malaki yung, uh, sobrang malaki yung differences nila. Kasi, uh, as I've said, my- mitosis is the cell division in the body cells. Lahat, body cells natin, yung sa muscle cells, sa bone cells, okay? Lahat ng types ng cells na nasa katawan natin except the reproductive cells, as I, uh, as I said. Okay, so si mitosis naman, isang cell division lang siya, okay? Isang de- cell division lang siya. Uh, isang phase lang, I mean... Because yung meiosis, dalawang phases yung cell division niya. So, uh, uh, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. I'll be discussing its, 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 its uh, phase. But before that, I'm gonna discuss the whole cycle of the uh, life cycle of the cell. Okay? So, yung buong cycle ng cell, uh, ang pinakamaliit na portion doon is the, the, the cell division proper. Okay? So, shall we say, siguro mga 6% or 5% ng life cycle ng cells uh, is in cell division. Pero yung uh, 94 to 95% ng life ng cell, life cycle or lifespan ng cell, uh, meron tayong tinatawag na interface. Okay? Sa interface, meron tayong uh, parts din doon. Okay, so ganito yun. After the cell division, okay, after the cell division, meron tayong tinatawag na uh, interface and then yung interface na yun may yung mayroong three parts okay sobrang laki laki ng time na ginugugol ng 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 masses ng cells sa tatlong parts sa to or sa isang sa interface na to first part yan yung uh, tinatawag din yung gap one or g g one phase okay sa g one phase kasi kakatapos lang ng cell na mag divide uh, usually after the cell division yung cells dalawang cells or yung cells or yung daughter cells Usually ang 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 liit nila kumpara doon sa parent cell. So the the I mean the normal cell, normal size of the cell. So ang gagawin ng cell after the cell division kasi sobrang liit nila, magugrow yan. And that is happening in the G1 phase or the gap 1 phase, okay? In in the interface. So lalaki siya during G1. Okay, so after G1, okay. So this is just like G1 or the gap 1 phase. This is uh, spent by the cell in uh, just like total growth, okay? Total growth. Now, ang sunod ng ano, sa grow lang siya, grow. Okay? So, lalaki na siya. And then, ang susunod ng G1 phase, S phase naman. S phase or the synthesis phase, okay? When I say synthesis, this is production. S phase, ang nangyayari dito, kasi after the cell division, kung makikita nyo, Yung chromatins, or sister chromatids, uh, joined by this one, the centromere, isa lang siya, paral siyang thread-like structure. Okay? Thread-like structure, isang ganun lang siya. And then, may centromere tayo dyan. During the synthesis phase, yung uh, isang yung isang thread-like structure na uh, ito, magdi-divide yan sa magre-replicate yan sa. We call this uh, chromosome or the DNA replication. When I say replication, kasi... Mag-undergo na ulit na siya ng cell division, kailangan niyang mag-replicate or replication means copying, okay, of the DNA. Now, in this part, ito siya, magdi-divide siya into two, okay, magre-replicate siya, ganun. So, sa babab din, mag din siya. So, mayroon na tayong parang ganito, yung stu- itsura ng chromosomes, okay? Yung koko ko, something like that centromere or the one that holds the, the, the sister chromatids together, okay? So, dalawa na siya. And then, ito ding ano, Yung uh, centriole, yung centriole, yun yung magpo-produce ng spindle fiber na maghihila ng chromosomes during the cell division, okay? So, isang ano lang siya, sa isang cell, isang centriole lang siya. But during the S phase, this centriole will copy itself or replicate and then becomes two, okay? So, parang bilog lang to siya, okay? So, pupunta siya sa kabila ng, uh, magkabilang side. Basta, copy nga siya to, dalawang centriole na tayo, tapos yung lahat ng chromosomes natin, Nag-copy na din siya during the S phase. So, dalawa na yung cis-chromatid sa Parang ganito na siya. O, oh, may dalawa pa dito. Ganun. Ito yung centromere. Ganun. Tapos, dalawang chromosome na siya. Nakikita nyo, sig- eh, siguro nakita nyo na yan yung chromosome. Okay? Ganito siya. So, after this, the synthesis, in the synthesis phase, DNA mm-hmm. repl- replication and the centriole replication na ang nangyayari. Okay? So, after the replication, sunod nun is the G2 phase or the GAP2 phase. Okay? So, anong mangyayari sa GAP2 or sa G2 phase? Sa G2 phase, uh, continued growth pa din. Okay? Continued growth lang siya. Okay? So, ito na yung ano natin. Sa, sa interface natin, meron tayong G1, S, uh, S phase or G1 phase, 
S phase and the, the, the G2 phase, okay? After this, we call this one, I mean, the, the three of these phases are what we call the, uh, what's this? Interface, okay? Interface or the uh, resting stage. Actually, tinatawag natin to sa, sa, sa science as resting stage. Now, sunod neto, it doon na siya sa pinakamaliit na portion, which is the cell division. And then, cell division na to, mayroon siyang apat na phases. Okay? Apat. Sobrang konti, sobrang liit lang ng portion na yun. Sobrang liit lang ng time na ispend ang cell doon. Pero, may apat na phases yon. Okay? So, yung unang phase is prophase. Okay? Sa prophase, ang mangyayari, di ba sabi ko kanina sa S phase, yung DNA, magre-replicate siya. Tapos, thread-like structure pa siya. Uh, itong centromere, tapos may thread-like structure pa ganun, pa ganun lang siya. So, ang mangyayari sa prophase ngayon, okay? So, itong thread-like structure, mag-form mag siya, mag-condense siya in the form of spiral form. Okay? Or just like condensing of this uh, thread-like structure. So, ang mangyayari, itong sobrang haba na to, magkukulot siya. Magkukulot. And then, it will form like this one. Okay? Like this size. Kaya yung chromosome natin may mga ganito. Okay? So, pag condense na yan, pag condense na siya, ang mangyayari dun, nasa prophase na siya, condense, uh, condensing of, of the chromosomes. Sunod na phase nun is the metaphase. Sa metaphase naman, lahat ng chromosomes magla-line up sa center ng cell. Okay? So, ito yung cell, yung chromosomes naka-line up sila lahat dyan, naka-line up sila dyan. Okay? We call that metaphase plate. Okay? Lining up of the chromosome at the center of the cell is what we call the uh, is in the metaphase uh, at the metaphase. Okay, this is the, the part of the cell division or the mitosis or meiosis phases. Na lahat ng 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 chromosomes naglaline up sa center ng cell. Okay, next after noon ah na, after noon is the uh, anaphase. Sa anaphase naman yung production, yung movement na ni ano, yung movement na ni centromi, uh, centriole sa both sides ng cell. Ano mangyayari doon? Si centriole naman, mapuproduce na ng spindle fiber. Yung spindle fiber na yun, yung para mga thread din, mga thread, yan silang uh, maghahawak doon sa chromosome na ganito. Okay? So, ganito. Uh, paano ba? So, ganito yung chromosome. Ito yung centromere. Imagine nyo lang yan. Tapos magkaano sila. Okay? Nakaganyan na actually yung chromosome. So, yung spindle fiber, nakahawak dito, nakahawak sa both sides. Okay? Kasi nakalain na sila sa gitna, di ba? And then, ipupul na yan ng spindle fiber. Okay? After that, ipupul ng spindle fiber yung chromosome na yun para mahati sila na tag na lang. O, ganito na lang yung tura. Okay? This is the centromere, my hand. Pero yung, yung fingers ko, yun yung uh, chromosome. tag na lang din. Okay? So, napul na siya. Papunta na siya dun sa magkabilang side uh, point ng cell. Ang mangyayari naman doon, next stage or next phase is the telophase. Sa telophase naman, doon na magpo-form yung uh, nuclear envelope, okay? Nuclear membrane, okay? Kasi andun na si chromosomes, andun na si chromosomes sa, uh, what's it? Sa both sides ng cell. So, mangyayari doon, magpo-form na ulit yung uh, nuclear envelope or yung nucleus. And then, may, may cleavage na siyang magpo-form, okay? May tawag tayo doon, may dalawang term side dyan. Yung cell division, uh, yung division ng dalawang nucleus is what we call karyokinesis. And the cell division of the cytoplasm is what we call, uh, the division of the cytoplasm is what we call cytokinesis. Okay? So, after na nga, no, division ng dalawang, ito na yung chromosome, uh, dalawang, uh, dalawang chromosome, ganito pa actually yung cell. So, let's say, this, uh, these are the, the daughter cells. Ganito pa siya. So, mayroon tayong cleavage na nagpo-form dyan, na ganun, na, uh, parang, uh, what's this? Uh, basta, cleavage siya. Tapos, Bago na siya, may, may form na siya dito na uh, cellular membrane na magpo-form. And that's already the cytokinesis, okay? Formation. Dalawang daughter cells na siya. Okay? Dalawang daughter cells. Uh, sobrang liit niya niya. So, after this telophase, babalik na naman tayo doon sa interphase, which is the G1 phase, doon naman mag-grow yung cell natin, yung daughter cells. Pag-grow naman, synthesis ng uh, DNA at saka, or the S phase, or the DNA and the centriole replication, and then the G2 phase naman, sa growth na naman ulit. Okay, so anon, same uh, same cycle. Okay? So ganun yung nangyayari sa sa mitosis. Same as in the my my meiosis and the mitosis. Pareho lang sila, meiosis 1, meiosis uh, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. My my interface and stuff like that. Ngayon, ang difference ng 
sa number of chromosomes. Okay? So, meron tayong normal number of chromosomes, which is 23 pairs of chromosomes. When you say pair, 2. Okay? So, 23 pairs of chromosomes sa daughter cells ng mitosis. And this one, uh, 23 pairs or 46 chromosome. Total natin, 46 chromosome. Hindi pwedeng sumobra, hindi pwedeng kumulang. Kasi, pag may kulang or sobra dyan sa chromosomes na yan, that can already produce that what we call uh, genetic disorder. Like Down syndrome, albinism, mga ganun. Okay? So, mga genetic disorders yung mga ganun tawag natin. So, 23 pairs of chromosome or 23 times 2 is 46 chromosome. Yun yung total number of chromosomes sa isang cell. Okay? We call it diploid. When say diploid, 23 pairs. Si meiosis naman, nagpo-produce siya ng cells na may 23 chromosomes lang, hindi pairs. Okay? Bakit? Explain kayo namaya. Okay. So, si meiosis naman, may dalawang daughter cells. After the cell division, First cell division, may dalawang daughter cells. Okay? Si mitosis. Isang cell division lang kasi siya. Si meiosis naman, so after the first division, may dalawang daughter cells. Tapos, mag meiosis 2 again siya. I mean, mag-undergo ulit siya ng cell division and that's already meiosis 2. And this cell will produce two daughter cells again and then this other cell will produce two daughter cells. So, si meiosis, magpo-produce ng four daughter cells of haploid. And then, si mitosis, mag-produce ng two daughter cells, diploid. Sinabi ko kanina, yung diploid, 23 pairs of chromosomes or 46 chromosomes. Si meiosis naman, uh, haploid lang siya or 23 chromosomes lang. Alam nyo bakit? Kasi, si sperm cell and egg cell, tag-23 chromosome lang siya. Kasi when they meet during the fertilization, they form a total of 46 chromosomes, which is the normal number of chromosomes. Ano kaya mangyayari pag yung sperm cell sa egg cell may 46 chromosome, 46 chromosome? What will happen? The, the, the fertilized egg or the yeah the, the zygote will have the 92 chromosomes. And that's really very abnormal. Kasi isang chromosome pa nga lang ang madagdag, sobrang abnormal na yung uh, organism na produce How much more kung 92 na? Okay? So, ganun yung, ganun yung explanation dyan kung bakit si meiosis na produce ng haploid or 23 chromosome. Kasi... Si sperm cell and the egg cell, when they meet together during the fertilization and they form the zygote, zygote will have the total of 46 chromosomes, which is the normal number of chromosomes. Okay? So, ganun siya. Ayun. <laughs> Ang dami kong ano. Ang dami kong sinabi. Ayun. So, good morning everyone. Ayun na siya. So, let's start to, to, to rationalize some questions about meiosis and mitosis. Basta tandaan nyo lang yung ano ko. Tandaan lang yung mga sinabi ko about dun sa mitosis and meiosis. Number one question, mitosis is a cellular process that produces, as I told you, mitosis. Okay? What's mitosis again? Choices. Two genetically identical daughter cells. B. Four genetically identical daughter cells. C. Two similar but genetically identical daughter cells. D, four similar but not identical. Uh, but not, I'm sorry, number, letter C is two similar but not genetically identical daughter cells. And letter D, four similar but, okay, so, as I've told you, mitosis is, uh, mitosis, uh, pr mitosis produces two daughter cells. Okay, so the choices natin na pwedeng isagot is between A and C. Two, two daughter cells. Okay? Uh, sinabi ko pala kanina, Yung sa mitosis pala, kung ano yung parent cell, kung ano yung genetic composition ng parent cell, pag nag-divide siya, pareho sila ng genetic composition. Okay? Genetic composition. Pareho lang. Wala siyang ano. Whereas the meiosis, magkaiba yung genetic composition. Kasi, kasi, uh, synapse happened during the meiosis uh, 2. Okay? So, when I say synapse, or the, the, what's this? The exchange of genetic code happens uh, during the cell division. Kaya yung, yung four daughter cells ng meiosis, magkaiba yung, uh, magkaiba yung genetic composition nila sa meiosis kasi may nangyayaring uh, synapse or like the exchange of the gen genetic code. Okay? Whereas the, the mitosis, pareho lang kung ano yung genetic code ng parents or genetic composition ng parents, same lang sa daughter cells niya. Okay? Tandaan nyo yan. And then, oh, mayroon tayong ano, mayroon ding mga nagtatanong about identical and fraternal twins, okay? So, anong nangyayari? Bakit sa identical twins magkapareho? Bakit sa, sa, sa fraternal twins, kay twins sila magkaiba? Yung, yung features, facial features and everything. Okay, so sa fraternal twins kasi, 
maaaring yung isang egg, dalawang sperms ang nag-fertilize. Uh, so, ang mangyari dyan, mag-divide siya. Okay? Mag-divide siya. So, dalawang, dalawang organism ang mapaform. Different composition kasi yung sperm cell na to na pumasok dito sa kabila and sperm cell sa kabila, magkaiba yung genetic composition nila. When they meet with the, with this egg, with the same genetic composition, iba pa din ang mag magiging resulta ng uh, features nila kasi magkaiba yung sperm. Magkaiba yung genetic code. As I told you earlier, lahat ng daughter cells ng meiosis, the sperm cell and the egg cell, magkaiba yung genetic code after the, the cell division kasi may sign up sa nangyari or exchange of genetic codes. Okay? So, ganun siya. Whereas, yung identical twin naman, kaya magkaiba yung fraternal twins, magkaiba yung sura nila, kasi magkaiba yung sperm na pwedeng, pwedeng ganun case. Magkaiba yung sperm na pumasok, dalawang sperm, tapos iba sila. Okay? So, meron din tayong uh, identical twins. When say identical twins, uh, isang sperm cell, isang egg lang siya, pero yung after the fertilization, the zygote divided. Uh, divides, I'm sorry. Okay? So, kaya magkapareho sila ng feature, kasi yung si, si egg na pinasokan, tsaka isang sperm lang, pareho lang yung ay yung genetic composition nila, pag ano dito, pareho lang kasi nag-divide pa din yung cell after the fertilization. Okay? So, ganun yung nangyayari dyan. Kaya yung identical twins natin, magkapareho talaga yung mukha. At saka, features, lahat, halos lahat. Okay? So, ganun po siya. And good morning everyone. Ayun, so, <laughs> so first question ulit tayo. Mitosis is a cellular process that produces uh, two genetically identical daughter cells, which is letter A. Okay? Because letter C, two similar but not uh, genetically identical daughter cells as i told i I've told you earlier identical sila that means pareho kung ano yung parent genetic code ng parents pareho lang yun yung genetic codes na daughter cells natin okay so ayun number two, the first stage of mitosis where chromatin condenses to form chromosomes is as i've told you earlier condenses or like condensing of the chromosome from thread like structure nagform sila nagkulot and then they form the, uh, the, the condensed or like yung chromatids natin sobrang iksay na. And that's in the prophase. Okay? Prophase. Next one, number three, the part of the cell cycle where the cell spends most of the time carrying on metabolism. As I've told you, uh, choices. A, interphase. B, prophase. C, metaphase. D, anaphase. And E, telophase. So the answer here is interphase. As I've told you, it's resting stage. Okay? Where the cell spends mo, uh, the cell spend most of its time, uh, carrying the metabolism or like growth and stuff like that. Okay, so it's inter interface stage. Next one, the states of mitosis where the chromosomes line up at the uh, cell's equator or the metaphase plate. We call this the uh, choices: interface, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So it's metaphase, letter C. Okay, so based on what I have discussed. Next one, the states of mitosis, where the spindle fibers pull the chromatids toward the, 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 the centrioles. Okay, yung paghila, paghati ng, ng chromosome. This happens in A, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And that happens in the, after the, the, the chromosomes line up at the center during the metaphase, they gonna be pulled up by the spindle fibers towards the different or the opposite sides of the cell. And that's, that happens in the anaphase stage. Okay? Ayun. Next, the centriole. A centriole is A, a cell structure that produces chromatin. No, it's wrong. A cell structure that produces chromosomes. No, it's not. Cell structure that produces centromeres. No, it's not. And the cell structure that produces spindle fibers. This is letter D. They are the one, the centrioles are the uh, the ones responsible for the production of the spindle fibers which are used in the anaphase stage to pull the chromosomes and or split the chromosomes, okay, into two. And yeah, and then pull the, they split chromosomes into, the, uh, into both sides of the cell, okay? Ayun, so number nine, what is the function of the centromere? Centromere, ito yung sabi ko sa inyo, ito yung chromosome, nasa gitna siya. Okay? So, ano yung, ano yung function niya? A. To hold sister chromatids together. Actually, this is the answer. Okay? And then, B. To pull the chromosomes. No, it's not because it's a function of the spindle fibers. C. To push the chromosomes. No, it's not. Letter D, A, and C. Actually, it's wrong. So, it's letter A. Okay? To hold the sister chromatids together. Sister chromatids, tawag natin yung dalawang chromosome, dalawang strand ng chromosome sa, sa itaso sa baba. Okay? 
Okay, so how many chromosomes do human somatic body cells have? Okay, sinabi ko sa iyo kanina, ilang chromosomes ang somatic body or the the, the body cells or this is happen uh, this is happening in the mitotic cell division and just body cells. Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, genetic composition ng parent cells pareho pa rin sa daughter cells, okay? And that is 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes. Magkaiba yun na 23 pairs of chromosome and then 23 chromosomes. 23 pairs of chromosomes, daughter cells ng mitosis. 23 chromosomes, daughter cells ng meiosis. Okay, next one. How many chromosomes do human gametes or eggs and sperm have? They are, there are 23 chromosomes or because these two, the sperm and the egg are the uh, haploid. Okay, 23 chromosomes. Kasi when they meet together, they form the normal number of chromosomes which is 46. Okay, 23 plus 23, that becomes 46. Next, how many gametes form from the parent cell to undergo, uh, that undergoes meiosis 1 and 2? So, sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, apat na daughter cells. Okay? So, ayun. Next one, a cytokinesis is a cell division of a cell, chromosome, cytoskeleton, or cytoplasm. This is the cell, cell division of cytoplasm, sinabi ko sa inyo kanina. This is letter D. Okay, next one. Gametes have blank number of chromosomes. Diploid, haploid, polyploid. Okay, so it's haploid. Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, 23 chromosomes lang. Haploid. Diploid is 46 chromosomes. Next, a zygote has blank number of chromosomes. Zygote, this is fertilized egg. So this one has 46 number of chromosomes and that is a diploid, haploid, polyploid. So it's diploid. Okay? Next, why are, why are there two sets of phases in meiosis? A, to produce double number of chromosomes in each gamete. No. To produce half the number of chromosomes in each gamete and then to produce the triple number. Okay, so it's half the number of chromosomes. Okay, so yun yung, uh, yun yung preference then. Half the number of chromosome or haploid kasi kailangan nilang uh, when they meet, when this gametes, uh, two gametes uh, meet during the fertilization, sinabi ko kanina, they will produce a normal number of chromosomes which is 46. Okay, so ayun. Next one, we have, what is a gene? Okay, gene, a malignant growth resulting from uncontrolled cell division. So this is malignant growth of, of, of uh, a malignant growth resulting from uncontrolled cell division. This is a cancer, okay? Uh, malignant growth of cells, okay? That means the cell grows above normal or the abnormal size, okay? It grows bigger, okay? That's cancer. A segment of DNA that controls the production of protein. So, this is, gene is a segment of uh, the DNA. Okay? So, and then the third one is an, an arrangement of chromosomes used to detect genetic abnormalities. Detection of, the, detection of uh, genetic abnormalities like uh, uh, albinism, what more, uh, Down syndrome, and other, other genetic diseases, uh, that is karyotyping. Okay? Karyotyping. So, ayun. So, meron din tayong sa ano, I'll just discuss a little bit of, of genes and dominant and recessive alleles and stuff like that. Okay. So, sa genes natin, meron tayong tinatawag na uh, dominant and recessive. When you say dominant, this gene appears in each generation. Okay? Pero si recessive, they only appear sometimes in generations. Okay? So, like, first generation, they appear, and they will appear again, the fourth generation, ganun, so recessive. When you say recessive, weak genes sila, okay? Weak alleles. Whereas the dominant is uh, very strong, okay? So that's why they're very strong, they appear, and then they are, uh, what's that? Uh, they are being shown in its generation. Like, shall I say, sa, sa, sa pedigree ninyo, okay, sa, sa, sa family nyo, family tree, yung dominant sa inyo is being tall. Okay? So, lahat ng generations niyan, mayroong mga tall, 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 tall. Okay? Pero, like, first generation, second, third, fourth, fifth generations, lahat tall. Pero magtataka kayo na ibang generation, sa ibang generation, mayroong short. Kasi, nahaluan kayo ng recessive trait na being short. Okay? And that will only appear in, in, in different generations, not all generations. Kasi, pag nag-appear na yan in all generations, that, be, that is already uh, the dominant, uh, dominant genes. Okay? So, ayun. Anong difference ni alil at saka ni genes? Okay? Anong difference ni genes at saka ni alil? 
makikita nyo uh, sa sa jeans meron tayong dalawang alleles doon yung tawag na na capital letter T siya sa example this is just an example capital letter T and the small letter T or capital letter T's two capital letter T's and the two small letter T's or capital letter T and one small letter T bakit ganun yun tawag natin gene okay they carry the traits but the thing is yung dalawang yun tawag natin yun alil okay so capital letter T is a dominant alil and small letter T is I weak alil okay so ganun siya so ayun so I think we're done for today And thank you so much, 40 pa pala. Ayun, good morning sa lahat. Marami pong salamat. Maraming salamat sa patuloy na pag-suporta uh, kay Teacher Seppi. And tomorrow, I'll be going live again for other coaching and other uh, rationalization of questions and explanations of concept. Uh, so please tune in and share this video. And I also would like to invite everyone to visit my uh, YouTube channel. Meron akong maraming videos doon. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit the bell uh, button para sa notification ng future videos ko doon sa YouTube channel ko. Please, 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 thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much. Uh, God bless and thank you po pala. I would also take this opportunity to thank the, uh, the frontliners, our frontliners in the Philippines taking care of us uh, during this crisis. Maraming salamat po sa mga doctors, sa nurses, sa mga... <clears throat> helpers nila dun sa hospitals like the, the janitors also to the police and the soldiers and what more and other other uh, other agencies government agencies involved in this uh, in the management of this crisis we're facing today and please also pray i would also like to uh, request everyone to to pray for for us to to surpass this crisis that we're facing now Okay, so good morning everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat. This is Teacher Seppi. And see you tomorrow for another live session. Bye-bye.